when I was about seven or eight years old, my father showed me this cool game with a cup and a ball. He said the object was to simply catch the ball inside the cup. Now, of course, it's relatively easy when you do it that closely, but when the higher you throw it up, the more difficult it is. And I kind of quickly got bored with it because, frankly, I was more into magic than I was games, right? And so I thought, hey, Dad, let me show you this really cool trick with this cup and ball. And so I said, if I put this red ball inside my pocket, I said, in three seconds, it's going to go from my pocket inside the cup, underneath the cup. Are you ready? He said, okay. One, two, three. Thank you very much. And he didn't really laugh, but he kind of smiled. He said, that's not real magic. He said, let me show you real magic. He said, keep your eyes on this ball, because if I leave it inside the pocket, he said, in three seconds, I'm going to make it really go invisibly through the air from my pocket to under the cup. I said, no way. He said, yes way. One, two, three. He did it. I couldn't believe it. I said, that's impossible. He said, no, it's not. I said, well, do it again. He said, okay, I'll do it again. Keep your eyes on the ball. It's going to go deep inside my pocket. He said, keep your eyes on the cup. One, two, three. Sure enough, he did it again. I absolutely couldn't believe this. I said, dad, can you do it again? He said, sure, I'll do it again. He said, you're not supposed to repeat tricks because you might figure it out. I said, that's okay, let me see. So he placed the ball deep inside his pocket. He said, one, two, two and three quarters, three. He said, wait, there's been a problem. The ball couldn't cleanly go from the pocket to under the cup. I said, why? He said, because the big yellow ball was in the way. 